Hi everyone! This design was one of the nails that I did for my Thanksgiving nails. And as you can see, I already had the nail bed done. I made it be an elongated nail bed and I kind of made it pointed in the center so that it would match the stiletto tip part that I applied. That was just a form with some clear gel that I made into the tip. And now I'm using brown gel and I'm just going around the smile line and I'm going to go all the way around the smile line bringing the brown out just a little bit and once I get it where I want it I'm going to cure that brown gel into place Now that the brown gel is cured, I'm going to be using this skeleton leaf and I am using clear builder gel to act as a glue to hold that skeleton leaf into place. See, I am spreading that clear gel out just a little bit. And here's the piece of the skeleton leaf that I cut to fit the nail. And I'm just going to press that down into place with my needle tool before I cure that. I have to add a little piece of gel, a little bit of gel right in that area to hold that leaf down there. It's kind of popping up. And now I'm going to add a little bit of the gold leaf in spots on the nail. And it's not cured yet from me adding the clear builder gel on there to act as glue for the leaf. The skeleton leaf allows the gel to come through it and that's what's holding the foil on. And once I get all that into place, I will give it a cure so everything will be held down into place. And now uh, it's cured already. And now I'm just coming in and trimming off a little bit of the skeleton leaf that I don't want on there. And now I'm going to use this beautiful holographic-y bright gold glitter and how I do it, I take my brush and I dip it into the builder gel and then I dip it into my glitter. I keep a separate pot of gel for glitter application only. And then I have another pot of gel that I use for encapsulation only. That way your gel that you use for encapsulation will stay clean and free of glitter because when you encapsulate things, you want it to be clean and clear, not all full of glitter. And when you apply glitter, it can be messy and it will get into the gel. So keep a separate pot for your glitter application. And here you can see me starting to encapsulate and I start by applying a wet layer of gel onto the nail bed. And now I am floating the gel carefully over the glitter tip so that I don't get any glitter onto my nail bed. And I am just stringing the gel along. See that? I just string it along here and I have a little low area right here where the nail bed meets the glitter tip at that point in the nail bed. Do you see that? So I have to build that up a little bit. Now I cured that first layer of gel and now I'm applying the second layer of gel. I brush a wet layer and now I'm applying a bead of gel and just stringing that and brushing that along, working on that low area. And here I am working on that little bit of a low area right there. I want to build that up just a little bit. Now I flip the nail over so that gravity can help me out by 
moving the gel into place to help form the apex. This is the nail. It's all filed and buffed out and I even stamped it. You might have saw this stamping video. If not, the link to the video will be in the description box below and it'll be also up in that corner where you see the arrow. If you haven't seen the video of me stamping and foiling, you can watch it. Yeah, and that is the nail completed and it's very beautiful. It was part of the Thanksgiving nails. I thought it turned out pretty and I wanted to show you Hope you enjoyed watching the tutorial. Be on the lookout for my Christmas nails coming up next. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.